Oh, uh, what's good, everybody? God bless you. What's Phone good? disconnected. What's going on, everybody? God bless you guys in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to real quick just do this quick little video. Ah, uh, see, one thing you have to understand, brothers and sisters, Christians, upon the land, you got to understand. Christians upon the land, you got to understand. You got to understand this. Listen to me, Christians, especially those in the West with the American gospel mentality and mindset. I need for you to I need for you to understand this reality. You do understand that if you was if you were sitting with a rabbi, you do a realize you do realize and understand that that rabbi will look at you crazy trying to obtain to a law that does not belong to you. <laughs> uh, you do understand that 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 the law was given for the children of Israel. One second. How you doing today, ma'am? I'm good. How are Number you? Number four. Yes. Hallelujah. God bless you, ma'am. You have a blessed day, okay? I made sure I put your ketchup in there for you. Okay, okay. thank you so much. Have a blessed day now, okay? Thanks, sir. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hi. Come on, somebody. Somebody say glory. <laughs> somebody say Culver's in the house. But here, but here's what I want to say, brothers and sisters. If you were to if you were to go to Israel, or if you were to go to the land and if you were to sit with a rabbi they would look at you crazy they would look at you sideways you want to know why they'll look at you crazy because a lot of times christians that think you christians that think you can tie in or or add yourself to a law that was never for you is crazy you can be grafted into faith i mean you could be gra you could be grafted into the faith but you can't be grafted into the law it wasn't for you that's why the apostles in the early church went to take the good news of the kingdom to the gentiles to bring them into the faith but you can't be a gentile and come into the law it was never for you gentiles you got to understand this it was not for the gentiles nor was it ever <laughs> oh, this is why people must understand what your faith is in this is why people must understand even when it comes to the levitical laws even when it comes to the to the Levitical laws, the Levitical laws don't belong to the Gentile. Ah, uh, hear me. This is why when Christians, when they talk about curses, they don't understand what they were grafted into. When, 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 when you were born again, you are not of the 12 tribes of Israel. Hear me. Now, if you are of the 12 tribes of Israel, then the law belongs to you. But if you're a Gentile and not of the 12 tribes of Israel, the law don't belong to you, nor can it be. So when Christians say, but that's the law, or you're trying to, you can't. It was never designed for you. It was never for you. The law is not given to the Gentiles. The law was for the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, not the Gentiles. That's why Christians must understand what grace through faith in Jesus Christ truly means. And know that you were bought with a price by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, but you were brought into the family of God by faith, not by the law, because the law was never for you. Gentiles, the law is never and was never for you. Ah. <laughs> Oh, brothers and sisters, I love you on the name of Jesus. I just want to do a quick little video. 
Because what I want to say is this. For all the Gentile believers, if you were to sit next to a rabbi and if you were to and if you were to tell them the things of the law that you abide to or what it is you say the church tries to uh, tries to connect themselves to, they will look at you crazy. You want to know why they would look at you crazy? They would look at you crazy because they would say that don't belong to you. What you talking about? You can't abide to that. That's not for you. And it's not. But what does belong to you is what Jesus at the cross of Calvary paid for you to be grafted into familia, sonship. That's why we cry, Abba, Father, because you were grafted into by faith, not the law. You can't be in the law if you are a Gentile. Ah, oh, brothers and sisters, but what about, but what about, um, but what about, uh, Ruth, uh, Boaz and Ruth? Now watch this. A woman got married into because of the man. Ah, <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters, the American church, I'm telling you, man, the American church for real needs to understand what they were born again to and you were not saved from and here's why I say this is because when Christians don't understand this they will never understand freedom when Christians don't see this reality they will never they will never understand freedom and live from rest and live from peace and live from love. But they're trying to uphold and, and walk out and live in a law that never belonged to you. Christians, understand, the law never belonged to you. And it still does it. <laughs> it never belonged to you. So for real, brothers and sisters, if you were to sit next to a rabbi and for Christians that talk and try to teach a certain type of way of certain legalities and laws and this, that and the other, a rabbi will look at you crazy. They would say to you, what are you talking about? That's not for you. Who says, who says you can come into this? How are you, if you have not the bloodline, a part of what it is you're talking about. <laughs> I love you all in Jesus' name. Be blessed and be encouraged, y'all. Understand what you're born again to. Live in the freedom that the blood of Jesus came to pay for you to abide and live from as a daily lifestyle reality. Serving Jesus is the most amazing thing that we, we could ever possibly imagine and or do, even through the struggles, even through the pains, even through the persecutions, even through the ups and the downs. There's a peace that surpasses all understanding that lives on the inside of you because you know for those that know who they are in Christ Jesus, know how to manifest peace, who is Christ. Reke Baba Sanda Kababosi. Hallelujah to the King of glory and your faith of what the blood by the spirit who came to live on the inside of you to dwell on the inside of you came to give unto you power power for what brother to live in this world manifesting a son and a daughter of God for this world to see Christ in you the hope of glory Santo Hallelujah. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is King. And he's coming back sooner than you think. Y'all be ready. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. I know Christians don't want to hear that. I don't talk about he's coming, brother. I'm still, I'm still trying to get my prosperity. I'm still trying to get this. I want to get that. No, no, no. See, that's because you love this world more than you love Christ. I'm going after mines, brother. I'm and, and go ahead. Go, go, do what you gotta do.
But just make sure that Jesus is getting glory. Make sure that you're utilizing what God places in your hands to bring Jesus glory. Not to be puffing you up. Are you making the kingdom rich or are you making you rich? I love you all. <laughs> hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Come on, somebody. Uh, come on. I, I, I knocked that devil out in Jesus' name. Uh, I'm telling you all. See, Christians should be the most vibrant, fully alive sons and daughters of God on this earth that would make people scratch their head and be like, man, how are you doing this? Let me tell you, it's a man. I'm in love with a man. What? Hold up, brother. What you talking about, Willis? I'm in love with a man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I am. And his name is Yeshua HaMashiach. And he come to save, deliver, and set free. See, I'm not faking it till you make it. Christianity is no game to me. It's a reality to me. It's no game. I'm not playing no games on this earth. No, no, I'm living the life sanctified and submitted to my Lord in love with him. I'm not worried about, you know, I'm not trying, I'm not worried about living in sin or trying to commit sin. No, no, I'm too focused on loving him. That's where your mindset has to shift, brothers and sisters. Get your mind off of sin and focus upon him. I'm going to say that again. Get your mind off of sin and start focusing upon him. Where your focus, where your focus is, is where your heart will be. So get your focus upon the, his love for you. Get your focus upon his goodness for you. Get your focus upon his righteousness for you and stop getting your and stop getting your identity from your sin. Consciousness that has been robbing and stealing from you of the life that Christ came to bring. Ah, the devil comes to steal, kill and destroy, but I have come so that you can have life and life fully abundance. I want you so full of life, you irritate Christians. I want you so full of life, you, 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 you get even leaders scratching their heads saying, man, what do they got that I don't have? Exactly. What do they got that I don't have? If they got something that I don't have, I need to get around them and to find out. I need to walk with them to find out what they're walking in, but we don't want to do that. Because we just want to follow all these cliches and these and these uh, churchianity movements, but yet no one's leaving transformed to live out the life every single day, modeling the power of the spirit, full of his love, full of his peace, full of his joy, given, given unto your life strength. That's why I don't got time for no devils, y'all. But brother, 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 we got to study devils. We got to, brother, we got to study devils. No, no, no. All I know is the Holy Ghost will slap a devil. All I know is the Holy Ghost will slap a devil. The Holy Ghost will choke a devil out. That's all I got to say. I, I don't got time to talk about or to worry about the devil. My mind and my heart is so focused upon the one in whom I'm in love with. Hey, and his name is Jesus Christ, somebody. See, that's why Christians are robbing themselves of the righteousness and the peace and the power of his love possessing you. Come on, man. Christians should be so possessed with Jesus that we manifest everywhere we go. Oh, my God, here they are, and they're going to manifest. Exactly. Oh, my God, here they come, and they're going to manifest. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, my God, here it is. I don't bring them around here. Even Christians will say crazy stuff like that. You want to know why? It's because they're not living a life. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Go in the power and the peace of the go in the power and the peace of our Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is Lord, and He's coming back again. Oh yes, He is. Oh yes, He is. Don't listen to those foolish mockers and scoffers. They and the devil is alive. Be blessed.